Classic Clay 104 coming back at you with another repair video. This is a Reticus V115, a multi band shortwave radio FM AM. It also has recording features and playback features for MP3 files. Pretty nice little radio, however, I've come with a few issues that we need to address today. I got this radio back in January of 2021 and within a week or so of owning it I came with an issue of this charging port being very loose so I took it apart then and put a band-aid on it basically to help keep it in place with some electrical tape but now I believe it is not even connected to the solder points, so let's get this thing apart and see what we can do to fix it. Let's get going. Alright, I've got my little Tech Deck screwdriver. Let's see if we can get this taken apart here. Still works, by the way. Let's, let's start there. It still works. However, the battery is about dead, and when I try to plug it up, happens and you can kind of see maybe copyright 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 it's super loose that leads me to believe that it's not even connected oh my lord with all the copyright <laughs> okay But yeah, as far as functionality, of course you've got the FM, AM, this isn't a review video, I'd still give it a decent review considering that issue, but I do like the shortwave, those are all uh, 5085. W out of Lebanon, Tennessee. One of my favorite shortwave stations to listen to. But it functions pretty well otherwise. Um, there are plenty of videos on YouTube where they the company sent them free radios to review. But these radios you can get on Amazon for about $25. In fact, this one was a little cheaper than an analog style tech. Uh, oh, what's the name of it? <laughs> it's not Technics. Texan. A little Texan radio that I bought about four years ago when I first started getting into shortwave radio I have to buy a new small screwdriver set but the tech deck will work for now no screws in there Oh, yeah, plus yeah, the whole feature of the rechargeable battery I think is pretty awesome. Instead of having to feed regular batteries in it all the time. Ok, 
can't remember if that one has to come off or not. I'll go ahead and pull my memory card out. So the cool thing about this radio is I have an ICOM 7100 ham radio and I record on it but I can take the memory card out of that and put it in here and play back the conversations I recorded on the ham. So that's another thing I think is neat about this. No special software required. I'm testing out a new microphone today so I hope it's not too unbearable. Alright. Still. I don't remember what's holding it back. Is it this? I'm trying to just get the edge there to push it in a little. There we go. Oh yeah. Holy crap, Batman. I don't know about that, guys. Oh. Yep, that's the that's the piece right here. Will it not focus for me? My little charging port is completely disconnected from the radio right here. That is so small. Now, I actually had to repair my ICOM with some small SMD resistors, and they were very small, but this matter at hand. There's a little bit of a different story. Because I don't think I can make small solders that small without touching and shorting out. Really. That is a bummer. That is so... Sorry, y'all. Here we go. That is very, very close together. And I just don't think... But you can see the tape here where I kind of stuffed it in to hold it in place to begin with because I was very limited to tools at the time when it happened. Ooh. That is just so darn tiny. And that's the smallest tip I have on there. This isn't on. I'm just seeing if it's even an option. <laughs> I 
Uh, well, all we can do is try. Time out. And we're back. A little side project here while our soldering iron gets warmed up. We've got this fob here for our pool access at the apartment complex I'm staying at right now as I travel for work this year and into next year. But this doesn't, I want to put it on this fob here, but it's a little too fat right there for it to latch. So I'm just going to stick the zip tie in here. And now, that'll never come off. Yeah! So as I stated earlier, there were some SMD resistors that I had to replace on an ICOM 7100, which that video will come out eventually. I just have to get used to the editing software that I can't stand, but I should just go ahead and buy some something better, but it will have to do for now. But for those who don't know, these here are SMD resistors, all of these little chips. And while the ones that I had to replace were Almost that size. They were probably a little bit bigger. Let's let's see. I still got the extras. Yeah, they're just a hair bigger. I'll show you. Here's a strand of the ones that I had to replace, and they're just a hair bigger than that. And it was a very tedious job to do because the ones that were in the radio that blue were a little bit bigger well consider considerably bigger compared to these but I made it work and I get to enjoy that radio still to this day which at the time I'd only had for probably three months I believe all right so that should be pretty there as far as heat goes for our iron. It's so small to see. Hopefully my head don't get in the way as I have to lean way in to see this. Oh. Standby. All right, I have this in place. I just cleaned it off with some lighter fluid because I don't have any alcohol to get that sticky residue off from where I had the black tape kind of stuffed on top of it to keep it in place because I knew it was fragile the first time I took it apart. Um, okay. So we're focused in the best we can with what we got here. I'm not so sure about flux on this. I wish that it would, the solder that was on it would kind of just
dogs action here. You know the saying, y'all, we gotta get this all fluxed up. <laughs> this is, let's see here. Just a little bit. All right. Let's see what we can do here. beside it. And get it on the side here, at least to help it stay. all mixed in there now. There's just no way. Something just fell. Alright. Well that's, there's really nothing that can be done about this. Well, let's plug it up and see what happens. Do we get magic smoke? We are plugged into a GCFI. Or GCIF, what, I, I got it confused, either way. 
Now, if this works, I will put a bunch of hot melt on this to try to keep it more secure. But no matter what happens, we are still family. What have we here? I like the way that looks. May that be another fix for the Classic Clay 104 channel. Now we will get our hot melt glue gun warm. Alrighty, now that our two tube resistor radio, resistor transistor radio, I totally messed that up. <laughs> Alright, now that our two tube transistor radio is repaired, we're going to go ahead and spritz a little bit of this hot glue onto our port charging port right here so it will hopefully be a little sturdy I'll be very happy if this lasts another three to six months because I do like this radio get it on there pretty thick because I'd prefer not to have to open this up again and this will surely work better than the black tape the electrical tape job I did before but as I said, that was all I had at the time. I did not have my tools. Put a little more right here. Excellent. This thing, this gun hasn't been plugged up since our speaker repair video. So we've got the full aroma of negligence. Like a friend you've just had in the closet for two years and only feeding them saltines and Diet Coke. Now that our glue is dried, we'll go ahead and close this back up. That's a beautiful thing. Something's happening here. There's always something fun happening on 
Classic Clay 104. Be sure to check out all of my videos. I have all kinds of different things on here. Bear sightings, abandoned houses, slash urban exploration, or in that case, rural, 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 rural exploration. Cooking videos. I know people are like, oh, well, I don't want to watch a YouTube channel that's got all kinds of other things on it. I just want to watch. I just want to watch one thing. Well, you don't get that with me. And if you don't like it, you can go watch someone that just does one thing. But I like to do all kinds of other things. I'll see what's going on here. Let me cut this out so our screw will go in there. Yeah. She closes my old better now. Mo better. Maybe. Hmm. Yep. Because this plastic piece here is so fat. And I thought about that when I was putting this big old glob of glue on here. I did think about it. There, anyway, this should work. There we go. Oh, shit. all right, new project. <laughs> oh, where did that come from? Oh, all right, let's go ahead and <laughs> hook our soldering iron back up. We'll go ahead and get our tuning wire soldered back into place because that thing's paper thin. I should have known that would have happened. Didn't happen the first time, or I guess the first two times I tried to take it apart. That'll go right there. And then we should be good to go once more. I really hope this microphone works good because I'm not going to re-undo all of this. I'm not going to undo it all just to make another video. But I'm sure a lot of y'all would like to see that happen. Stay tuned. Alright, we're going to go ahead and butter up. Oh, I mean, get a little flux on here. For a second, I thought I was making a cooking video. Oh, shit. Let's see how we can do this. Because that's not going to stay, is it? What if I bend a little bit? And hook it in to that slot right there. I 
That would be wicked cool. You ever soldered a hair before? Because we're about to. Well, that ain't going nowhere. Alright, let's get this thing put back together before we hurt someone. Beautiful. And back to the here, here, here's. Here. And here. Nope. And here. Here. And here. I'll go ahead and screw that one in. Here. Oh yeah. Insert battery. What is that? I've never seen that before. Oh, shit. what kind of picture? What does that mean? It was working. Don't tell me. Okay, battery out. Plug directly in. And it's charging. Power on. Naganda. But we were doing so good. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that meant, but here we are with it on, and we got our AM, FM, shortwave, 5950, well, it's 1017, that means Truth to Ponder with Bob Bierman is on WRMI 
Yeah, I could try before the 5950. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, this doesn't like to uh, play music while it's plugged up, but it is indeed charging. Awesome. Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com. Interest rates have taken another nosedive. Back down to record lows. I'm John Hancock. Guys. I hope you take advantage of this. Neighborhood lender is doing zero closing calls. That is very, very sturdy. I'll still try to be as fragile as possible every time I plug it up. As I was... The first time I tried to uh, put a band-aid on this, but that definitely isn't going anywhere for a while. So that's another successful, very successful repair video. And I certainly hope you like the video if you did smash that like button as they all say these days be sure to check out my other videos I have some other repair videos and among many others well, not many but some others and please subscribe to my channel for more content in the future my video production isn't as quick as your favorites are, but I am in the midst of traveling for work, and as I get the time and projects, I love to do it. Good night, and have a pleasant tomorrow.